I'm Tim Mooney. We're in the Aspen Mountain gondola. There was a time frame where Aspen Mountain didn't allow snowboarders. You could go to Buttermilk and Snowmass and Highlands, right? Yeah. So three out of the four mountains in Aspen would allow snowboarding. But um, they just felt like keeping an isolationist kind of idea for Aspen Mountain was going to make it exclusive. And exclusive to skiing was going to be another way to sell the resort as a high-end place to come. I'm JB. I've been snowboarding for like five years now, I think. I used to ski, but when my sister started snowboarding, she's like eight now. So when she started snowboarding, you know, I just decided to start with her. So that's how I got into snowboarding. I've been going to Jackson Hole for like, that's in Wyoming, for like uh, seven years, I guess, or since I, when I started skiing and I've been snowboarding there for like five years and I I guess I really like how I don't really know anyone there so it's just like a way to get away from everybody and uh, it's also a pretty hard mountain. Joe Falcone, I am. I've been one for the last 16 years. I think I started back in 1968. Okay. Why did you choose skiing over snowboarding? Skiing is the only thing they had back then. <laughs> and then I did uh, pick up snowboarding, I think it was back in 90. Uh, I was just about to have a child and figured I'd start uh, snowboarding before my kid did. And picked it up and did it for a while. Uh, also taught and always came back to my roots, which is skiing. anything and they want to make sure you have the tools to teach okay and then what they actually do is take you out there if they see that you have the potential and uh, they teach how to teach I got a bad back so I try to stay on the ground all the time so your skiers love to do the same things you know get into the pipe go off the jumps and it's just uh, a bunch of trial and error most of the time taking a look at it watching people do it and trying it themselves Taos, New Mexico, still doesn't allow snowboarders. Deer, Deer Valley doesn't allow snowboarders either. There you go. Why, why did they change? Uh, they felt the economic pressure. They felt the demographic of snowboarders was important to the market. And by segregating and the, keeping them out, um, you know, they were uh, losing revenue. So um, I, I think they just... Uh, you know, look to the bottom line, and skiing is a big business, and they couldn't deny the fact that they wanted as much profit as possible. Snowboarders, because of, you know, um, their personalities, like they, they seem a little wild according to, or just from people's perspective, and uh, maybe a little bit different than skier. I definitely think that there are stereotypical prejudices against snowboarders. It's the new, new thing and nobody quite knows um, how they're going to um, change the sport of skiing and nobody knows how they're going to be integrated over time. So, you know, they are different. They move differently. They're using a different tool on their feet instead of skis. They've got a big flat board and, uh, you know, it's kind of a generational thing where it's hip to be with your friends and young kids are learning to snowboard. I, I think it's easier and less time consuming to learn it than skiing. And so I think the learning curve has allowed a lot of kids to get into snowboarding uh, easily. easily. And uh, so if all your friends are on snowboards, you wanna go. I think there's a real marketing thing where 
skateboarders and surfers all cross over their skills with snowboarding. So you can use the same stance year round. You can use the same position um, on a snowboard, a skateboard, or a surfboard and feel like you're participating in basically the same skill set to do different sports. Like about snowboarding, I think it's just a, you know, a way to get away from everything. Everything. And uh, you know, it's just a cool feeling to you know, just me in the snow. Leaving as would be coming in uh, snowboard families. I think that had something to do with it. Yeah. Do you remember the day Mike Kaplan made that announcement? Um, I remember when um, Bill O'Donnell took credit for it and yeah. stood its face in the middle of the newspaper. Right, but th they had a meeting for the Aspen Mountain Pros down oh, no. in the little now, and I just remember sitting down and I, my heart sunk. I, it was like, oh, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. They're, they had I mean, bumper stickers that said R.I.P. Yeah. Aspen Mountain, rest in peace, you know. Because it, it got to the, got to the yeah, radical side. Yeah, we let in this new element of yeah. change. But I, I think one of the things was that it, it separated families, just like Joe right. alluded to, that young kids and families were snowboarding and the parents were skiing. Right. So they couldn't come on this mountain and right, go so together. Bad, yeah, right. And so it, it, it um, I don't know. But there's been a, as you mentioned before, Joe, there's been a sort of like a, a switch back to uh, younger kids skiing now too. I oh, definitely. A lot more kids skiing these days, yeah.